Well, how I met Flip Power was uh, when Joe Brooks uh, got me my job in 64 in Miami, there were five or six red hot shot clubs, light tackle fly clubs. Almost anything you're doing today was developed by these competitive clubs because they were trying to beat each other. Well, they were egotistical as hell. They thought nobody north of the Broward County line knew anything. So I, I appeared, to, I come into Miami as the manager of the Met Tournament, which was a, Joe Brooks said being the manager of the Met Tournament is kind of like being the mayor of all South Florida fishing. Well, uh, Miami Herald sponsored the Met Tournament and I had my office in there. And um, uh, Vic Dunaway was the outdoor editor. So he writes this big article about this guy from Maryland come down who, who had, at that time I had a, a story in fly, Outdoor Lights, Sports Field and Field and Stream, and he wrote up all this nice stuff about me. Well, immediately, and Joe Brooks had told me, if these clubs can help you, uh, will, will help you, your tournament will definitely become a success. So when this article came out two days after I got to Miami, Flip's Club, called the Miami Sport Fish invited me over to do a casting demonstration. The truth of the matter that none of them were very good fly casters at that time. Uh, so I went over there uh, that night. It was on Southwest 24th Street and there was an alley in the back that had lights on it. And Flip wrote this up, by the way, in his book called Mandra of Magic. Uh, they had their business meeting and then the president said in a sort of a snide way, well, uh, the manager that left uh, uh, the Met Tournament left Cray is going to give a fly casting demonstration with real sarcasm. So we went outside and they were all standing up like this with their arms. And I had the guy hold the fly rod and I walked off about 60 feet of fly line and I laid it on the ground. And Flip wrote this all up in his book. And this is how I met Flip. And um, I did not know at that time. And this included Chico Fernandez and John Emery and Flip Powell and all these guys. They knew how to catch fish with a fly rod, but they weren't really very good casters. So I walked back and I laid the fly rod on the ground and I picked up the fly line. And I, and I never should try to show off in fly casting because I think, I think a good casting instructor should never display knowledge but share it. So I picked this fly line up with my hands and I pulled back and I cast with my bare hands 60 feet of fly line. Well, when I came forward, every one of them stepped forward to see where it went, and I knew I had them right there. The next morning, Flip was knocking on my door. <clears throat> he said, I gotta learn to fly cast. And he and Chico Fernandez and Ralph Delph and uh, all those guys would come over to my house in Village Kendall. It was in a cul-de-sac, so there was no traffic. And we would work on casting every afternoon, and it was just sort of an unofficial casting club. But that's how I met Flip. And he's become one of my best friends.